Hey guys, what's going on? Cameron here with The Lawn Care Life in Missouri. I'm going to show you guys today how to keep track of your lawn care customers using Horizon 360. So we're going to jump into the dashboard real quick and we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, we're inside the Horizon 360 dashboard. Over here on the top left side, you'll see customers. We click on that. It will bring up all of your customers right here. So we don't have any customers. So this is empty, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to add your customer inside Horizon 360. So you have the option of residential or commercial. For this particular application, we're going to use uh, commercial. If you click on residential, it's not going to add the business name. That's only kind of the only difference there. So commercial, we'll put in the business name, Toro Headquarters. This is just a sample. Obviously, this is not our customer. This is not their phone number, but we're going to enter this in for this particular customer and then we'll want to enter an email address here put that email address in then once you put the email address in you can go down here and you can add the address the physical address where is this address or where is this customer located so we're going to add that in real quick a lot of times if you type the address in right <laughs> um, it will automatically bring up the rest of it so it brings up this one right here we're going to select that one automatically puts in the city state and zip We'll hit save, and then once we save the address, we're going to be taken to another screen where it shows the geofence, and that's where you want to enter in the actual location. So by default, it shows a circular geofence on this particular property, but a lot of times, as you guys know, when you have a different property, um, the physical location may not be exactly where the area is that you mow. I mean, the physical location is right here, but maybe we just want to mow this area right here. We can use this circular geofence, which works well. Anytime we're inside this geofence, it'll clock us in and out of the job. But a lot of times I like to use the polygon. So you can go over here and draw a polygon and you can, let's expand this map one more time and we'll zoom in a little bit. When we draw a polygon, you can actually drop pins exactly where the lawn is uh, is on the map. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the four corners here, just kind of extend out a little bit. Anytime your mower is inside this geofence or this box that I'm going to create, anytime your mower is in there, that mower will clock in using Horizon 360 tracking devices. So say I'm driving down the road right here. Let's get over here. Say I'm driving in down the road. I park over here, unload the equipment. As soon as that equipment gets inside this geofence, it's automatically clocked into the job with the Horizon 360 tracking devices. So there's our geofence for this particular customer. Um, once you do that, you can go down here and hit save. Once we save it, anytime we save a location or the information, it's going to be stored right here. Like I said before, all your customers will be stored right here. If you want to know anything about this customer, you just click on it on the right side over here. It's going to bring up the location, the billing info. In order to uh, show the jobs or contracts or estimates, you're going to click this button right here in the, in the middle, customer details. Once you click that, all your customer information will be brought up. So jobs, contracts, estimates, communication, which email, files, so for this one, I want to see the contract for this particular job. So I click on contract and nothing's shown, right? Because I haven't entered in a contract for this particular customer. So I go over here to the right side, click add, and we're going to start adding a contract. I'm just going to go ahead and name it mowing contract for now. Uh, in our area, we usually start mowing the 1st of April. So we'll click on April as a start month. And we usually end about the end of September. I mean, we do have a few cuts after that, but for the most part, the busy season is from April to September. And then if you go over here to add jobs and services, you click on that, that will give you the option to select a start date and select the end date. So now that we have that, we can click mowing for the service. We go down here, we want to mow that lawn every week, so the frequency would be weekly. Be on the property about four hours, and the rate, you can enter in your rate 
for that particular job. And then once you enter in the rate, because you selected um, from April 1st to September 30th, it will automatically calculate the occurrence or the visits. So with this one, it's going to be 27 visits. And it has that right here in this box. Automatically calculates that for you. And then here's the total price based on your rate. So if we want to change this rate up a little bit, that 13500 will change. We'll put 450 in there. So that 13500 goes to 12150 And so you can easily see uh, the information for that customer in here. You can choose different billing options. Uh, we're not going to mess with that right now. We're just going to save this contract. And we click Save and Continue. And you'll notice once you hit save and continue, that customer's information, it will show down here that it's successfully created. And right here, it'll give you kind of a rundown or a breakup of uh, that contract that we just set up. Here's the service window. The service is mowing. Frequency is weekly. Estimated time on site, four hours. Occurrence, 27 visits. Rate, and then there's your total. So you have all that contract information right here in one spot which is really nice. We're going to close that out. I'm going to show you how to add jobs. If you want to add a job to this particular customer, say they want some uh, shrub trimming done, you can click on add job. It's going to automatically bring up the customer lo location. You go over here to service, trimming and pruning, enter in the information, the price, say they want the, uh, the start date, for the trimming, April 30th, and they want it done. Let's say they want it done every four weeks. We can choose that throughout the whole mowing season. That way everything's nice and clean and, and everything looks well managed. So we can actually enter in the information right there, estimated time on site, put the hours there, and then you can save it. And then your job will be saved right down here under the job tab so it's created it's saved here it is if you want to create an estimate so let's say that we want to create an estimate for this customer let's say we usually take care of this area right here everything like behind the parking area everything over here we usually mow every single week but let's say for whatever reason they have this area up front that is taken care of by maybe somebody else, or maybe it's taken care of in-house. And then they decide, you know, this area right here, they want us to take care of that as well. So they want to estimate for this uh, area. So we can go over here and we can select the location. It's an existing customer. It's an existing service location, which there's the location. And then once we hit done, we enter in the estimate name. So we're just going to put mowing corner lot. And then we have to have a boundary name. I'm just going to put mowing to make it easy. Polygon. We're just going to put mowing there as well. And then we go down here and we can select a service. But first, let's draw our little, drop our pins here, draw our little polygon around the area that we want to uh, take care of and mow. You can get as detailed with this as you want, or you can do it as quick as you want. It's just up to you. But it's really fast to actually highlight an area and be able to see the square footage. So there's the area that's highlighted. That's the area they want to estimate for. Over here it's going to show you it's 61,272 square feet. So that gives you a really good idea when you go to create an estimate. But go down here to mowing, price for that area, just put your price there. It's going to break it down for you. Show the total area, total price. If you want to add in your uh, labor, you can do that here. $20 an hour. Crew side, it's going to take them 20 minutes. There's your expenses, $6.67. And there's your estimated price. Go down here, click done. And that estimate will be inside of your customer information. So now we have a customer. We have a contract set up for them. Now we have a estimate set up for them as well. So 
it's uh, it's pretty neat. You can do all that. Here's your breakdown of all that information that I just did inside Horizon 360 for the estimate. We're going to close it out. Everything for that customer is right here in one spot. The location, the jobs, the contracts, the estimates. If you want to send an email, it's going to be over here in the communication tab. So here is the estimate. Go over here to communication. If you want to send them an email, it's really simple, really easy to do. You just click on communication at the top and you click send email. And here is an area where you can type out your email, hit send, and you sent the customer an email. We'll go back to the list. Let's go back and add another customer. Just want to show you exactly how easy it is. Business name. Again, we're going to do kind of the same thing that we did before. Enter in the name of the business. Enter a phone number. Enter an email address. Go down here to the address, the physical address. We'll want to put that right here. And again, it's going to automatically come up with the address for us. Most of the time it will. City, state, and zip's already in there. Hit save and next. And now our new customer has been added to the list. Same thing over here. We're going to want to add a geofence. Uh, for this particular one, let's just say we want to stick with the geofence they've created, okay? We can zoom in to our property and use the default circular geofence. We'll just drag it out a little bit. So anytime we're inside this area right here, it's going to clock us into the job. And it works okay if you don't have any customers in this area. Um, let's say all of your other customers are over here and you only have this one customer in this circular area. The circle geofence works perfect for that. So the geofence is set. We'll zoom back out and we'll save that. Okay, now the location is saved. You'll see it up here, Bryant Park. Email, phone number. Again, you'll hit customer details in the middle to get all the information about that particular customer. And then the same thing. Your location's here, billing info's here. You can add a job. It's just so easy to do. So we'll click on jobs, go over here to add an on-demand job. And this is going to be like for the one-off jobs. Um, maybe it's leaf removal. You can go over here and choose. Let's just add leaf removal. So it's not a service in a list, but we can go ahead and create leaf removal just by typing it in. $450 for the leaf removal. And same thing here, just put the time on site. Um, select a date that you want to take care of that. For leaf removal, it's going to be a little later in the season, November to December, somewhere around in there. And then we'll just click save. So now we have an on-demand job right here in this area. It works good for snow removal too. Say you're uh, doing snow removal. You want to add a on-demand job. It snows that weekend. There's our customer location service. So it do we don't have snow removal in here, so we can go ahead and add that service as well. Put our price in there. And we'll go ahead and start that today. Click save. And then once you click save, you'll see your snow removal job in there. So we have snow removal, leaf removal for on-demand jobs. So let's go back to our customer list. And there you go. Everything you need to know about your customer, if you want to create a job, if you want to create a contract or an estimate, anything and everything you need to know about your customer is going to be located right here inside 
the uh, customers tab inside Horizon 360. It's really simple to do, really fast and easy to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video of how to keep track of your customers inside Horizon 360. All right, guys, there you go. I appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate you checking out Horizon 360. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below or reach out to me, send me a message or send me an email, and I'd be glad to answer those questions. But uh, for right now, there is a free 90-day trial to try out Horizon 360, see what you think of it, see if it's right for your business, and see if it'll help you become more efficient uh, running a lawn care business. So be sure to check that out if you're interested, but uh, I'm out of here. I'm Cameron with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri. Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a good day, and as always, hey, God provides.